Well, when you're talking about a two-time consensus All-American, you're talking about a two-time or three-time academic All-American and an academic Hall of Fame. You're talking about a scholar-athlete in every sense of the word, and you're talking about 13 years of pro football, and you're talking about a very successful wine business. I'd say that's a pretty good measure of success. I've played sports my entire life. I don't know that I really knew that I was good at anything other than I just liked to play and I was really competitive. Hogue is a player who always seems to be in the right place at the right time. His block of a Notre Dame field goal attempt in the 1981 Sugar Bowl was the first of many big plays he has made for the Bulldogs. And this one is a 48-yarder. He is four out of six from this distance and is blocked. Number 14, it looks like Ken Fly Field, and that's got to fire up the Georgia Bulldogs. It was number 14 who made the play for Georgia. Terry Hogue. The game is over. Georgia has won 17 to 10. University of Georgia defensive back Terry Hogue was not heavily recruited out of high school and hardly played as a freshman. But since then, it's been a different story. He led the nation in interceptions last season and in 1983 set a Georgia career record for block kicks. At the same time, he has maintained close to a straight A average, majoring in genetics. Terry Hogue, University of Georgia defensive back. Yes, sir. Terry leads the country in pass interception. He's the biggest grabber this side of the IRS. <laughs> Whether it's due to his common sense or his natural ability, Terry has successfully developed into one of the most respected deep backs in the country. A defensive player has never won the Heisman Trophy, but there are those who feel that Hogue should be the first. Well, he would be, uh, but there's no way that a, a defensive player is ever going to win uh, the Heisman Trophy. Uh, but if you took the, the, the best football player in America, in my opinion, it's, uh, it's Terry Hogue. I don't think Terry Hogue is the greatest athlete in the world. I don't think he's by far the strongest guy in the world. He's probably not the smartest guy in the world, although he's close. But he is the most unbelievable competitor I, I've ever watched play. I think he's an All-American in, in the truest sense of the word. Would you list him as a Heisman candidate? Shoot, I'd vote for him for president. Good morning, Steve. Welcome back to you. Terry, nice to meet you. Good to have you with us this morning. You all played against each other, didn't you? How long ago was it? A year ago. Yeah, about a year ago. A year ago. Yeah. Do you recall each other? <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, believe me, I would have had about 75% completion if he hadn't taken a few away from me. He had a tough day. It was drizzling a little bit during the game, and, and he had some tough time floating some balls early in the first half. It looked like he was going to complete as many to us as he was to his own players but came out in the second half and did a really good job against us. You guys are so nice to each other. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> On Tuesday morning, you are, right? Terry Hogue's been a success at everything he's ever done. He had a great career at Georgia. He was the first defensive player to be in the running for the Heisman Trophy. He was a stud. He came out of college and went to the New Orleans Saints in 1986. Came to the Eagles. That's where I met him. Nobody was quite like Terry Hogue. Terry came out of school. He was a very, very prominent, prominent player. The knock on him coming out of college was that he wasn't that fast, but he was so intelligent that he was able to use his intelligence to compensate for the lack of blazing speed that he has. 
and he was able to get the plays that other players that were two or three you know, steps up fast of him weren't able to get to because they couldn't recognize him. So he had a 13-year career because of his intelligence and his ability to be an athlete, uh, which compensated for his speed. Montana finds the short man. It'll be fourth down. There's a fumble picked up by Terry Hogue, and he's got a touchdown. Nine must have gone to overtime. Schuler intercepted by Terry Hogue. He's down to the 20, the 15, and inside the 15 to the 12. The Redskins are the world champions. Once again, the final score of Super Bowl 26 is Washington 37, Buffalo 24. You know, in retrospect, when I look when I look back at my life where I've been, I mean, I've been in so many amazing places and done so many amazing things that it feels surreal to, to go back and look at it and go, yeah, I, it was me that did that. I feel extremely fortunate to um, been able to interact with you know, the coaches that I've, that I've played for over the years, um, have access to the things that I've had access to, had the freedom in life to, to make it my own, to do really the things that make me feel good about waking up every day. I'm trying to figure out if I can get through life without ever holding a real job. You know? And I'm 49 and I'm doing a pretty good, <laughs> pretty good job of it so far. Hey, Terry, happy birthday. 50 years old, are you kidding me? Are we that old already? Well, I'm not 50 yet, so I'm not as old as you are, old man. But congrats on that, and certainly remember you as a type of player who was not only a great athlete but played from the neck up as well. And in that defense in Philadelphia, when we had, oh, sometimes more than a few guys kind of doing their own thing, you knew how to keep everybody in place while still making all the plays as well. I hope all is going well. I know all is going well uh, for you. Please tell hello to you, uh, hi to your family as well. And a happy birthday on 50. Wow, you don't look a day over 55. I'm just kidding. Happy birthday, Terry. Hey, Terry, it's Jeff Eagles here. How are you? First, want to congratulate you and wish you a happy 50th birthday. Uh, we go back to the early 1990s when you and I were teammates down there in Philadelphia, and then uh, we both moved on to the desert with Buddy Ryan and uh, formed our friendship there. And I wanted to give you a shout out and happy birthday to you and enjoy your day. T. Hogue, 50 years old, man. Um, wow. You make me feel old, and I'm four years younger than you. Um, happy birthday, my friend. I hope everything's good with you. Um, Hopefully I'll see you in December and um, tell your wife and kids I said hello, man. Um, have a great day. Appreciate you, man. Hey, Terry, uh, Morton Anderson here. I uh, wanted to send you a, um, a very happy birthday um, to you on your 50th birthday. I made my own little goalpost here with some red wine. Uh, I don't know, is that wrong? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, Lots of great memories with you, Terry, from New Orleans, uh, hanging out uh, uptown at uh, 4141, uh, Naughty One, Naughty One, uh, Cafe Banquet, and Quesera, and all the other great places, and playing together on the Saints. It was a lot of fun, and uh, uh, enjoyed having you and Jennifer come in for, for my party last year, and just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Have a great time, buddy. Uh, love your wine. Uh, and uh, you are the man uh, that got me the best on a practical joke. Uh, got me there. 
I was all dressed up in the leather with the Playboy channel and uh, you crush me my man I'll get you I will get you but uh, have a fantastic uh, day and night and uh, drink some good juice and um, all the best see ya hey Terry happy 50th birthday I man I never really mentioned how grateful I was for you to help me out when I was with the Eagles I man you did a great job you made it cool to be a safety picking off balls back in the old days. Yeah, the, like the 70s or the 80s. But no, never mind. Terry, happy birthday, man. Great wishes. God bless. Hoagie, I can't believe now that you're going to be 50 years old that I can finally say I've known you more than half your life. It's been 26 years since we met, and I'm very happy to call you a friend. As you know, I've represented over 750 players in my life, and you're my closest friend of all those players I've represented. We've had a lot of great times together. I have a lot of names for you, Boombox, Hoagie, my favorite one, Goomba. Uh, we've had a lot of things we've done together. We've gone on trips together. Uh, we used to go to the movies together. We used to go to plays together in New York. People would think we were two fags. You were a fag, I wasn't, of course. Uh, the great moments that I think about that we've had together is going to the Super Bowl with you in Minnesota going to the College Football Hall of Fame when you were inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. I was proud to be there with you. Uh, winning the member guest tournament at uh, Lanark, going to Augusta, playing together. But I think the most important part is Christofari being born and me becoming his grandfather, his godfather, and you becoming my Goomba. Congratulations, happy birthday, another 50 years, buddy. Hey, Hoagie, I know you used to hate me when you first came to Philadelphia because you didn't like me throwing out the gum, but if it wasn't for me throwing out the gum and it wasn't for Jennifer, who is very, very smart, much smarter than you are, by the way, who told you to pick me as your agent, we would never have this relationship. So thanks, Jennifer, for hooking us up together.